way back in 1979, I bought a 67 442 Cutlass Coupe. An original, one owner, little old lady. Light yellow with a matching light yellow interior. Turbo 400, 400 cube, 350 horse. Mine was an automatic, this is a four speed. I had the matching yellow interior as well. This is a convertible, mine was a hard top. Mine was a rust bucket. I bought it for 500 bucks. Survivor. 67 old 442. Mine even had factory hubcaps and a 442 badge in the black recessed grill. Mine was a junker. I got rid of it. Gone. Cuda 440 in bright orange. 440 big block at the Piston Poppers Club. Four speed pistol grip Hurst shifter. Tack and gauges. Chrysler had some good gauges with the red line right in the middle. Huh. They didn't turn it quite all the way up to the top in Pontiac. They turned the tack so the red line was right at the top. 150 mile an hour speedometer rally gauges. 440 CUDA. What else we got here? 69 Camaro SSRS Rally Sport Pace Car Replica. You like your interior orange? In orange we believe. Wow. Sawtooth gauges. If it's a big block, it's a Turbo 400. And this is a small block 350, so it has the first year Turbo 350 transmission. And it does. Yep. Turbo 350, it's a frame off, front frame off restoration. Beautifully done. Attention to detail. Chevrolet Camaro official pace car. May 30th, 1969. 53rd annual. The race in Indianapolis. 350, 300 horse. Souped up. Corvette style valve covers. Free flowing dual exhaust with a transverse muffler. And just like the Corvair, it's got a fuel return on the fuel filter. Just like the Corvair. Turbocharged. 1969 RS SS Camaro. Parked next to a 72 Monte Carlo Big Lock 454. 365 horse. 71. Thought that 72 had the hood ornament. Hmm. This has a hood ornament and it has a badge here. Something tells me we got mix and match. Cranberry red, black cloth interior, straddle bucket seats, floor mats, belt molding, storage guards, four season air conditioning, center console, turbo hydromatic, four hundred, turbo hydromatic, comfort tail, power steering, special instrumentation, AM radio, Monte Carlo SS equipment. It's a genuine Monte Carlo SS big block. Wow. It's got replica torque thrust wheels, American racing. SS 454 Monte Carlo. Chevelle, not fancy enough. We're going with a Monte Carlo. It's got super sport, wide oval Firestones. What a beautiful Monte Carlo. 71, the supercar era was ending. It's got a halo vinyl top. Monte Carlo SS blacked out tail pan. Wow. Back when the muscle car era was coming to a screeching halt in 1973 in this case, Chevrolet still put the big blocks in Monte Carlos and Chevelles, but they dropped the horsepower rating off the sticker. And they may have had some good discussions in the corporate boardrooms of the day. 73 Monte Carlo, no more SS, that was gone. It was now a Laguna S3 or a Monte Carlo big block. Could have had bucket seats. Swiveling bucket seats. This one's got cloth seats, tilt steering, no gauges. Just big block power with a turbo 400, black 
on black, on black with a halo half vinyl top. 1973 Monte Carlo. And there's an 87 Monte Carlo SS. And there's a hearse old on a trailer. We're going to go chase that baby down right now. Grand National Buick. V6 turbocharged under high pressure. Shaken six pack Cuda. Probably a 440 pistol grip. Yep. Big block Barracuda power. Where'd that first old go? Let's go find out what that baby's all about. Hot rod, pearl, candy red. Barracuda, not a Formula S. Air conditioning, automatic. Charger RT, deluxe Chrysler power. Charger RT with a fuel door right there. Charger RT. Hey, am I gonna put my neck to you? I don't know where the RT. Where's that her soul go? Cadillac V8 power. Racing Camaro. Nitrous oxide, electronic controls. 1970 old Cutlass 442 W30. Four speed standard. Go find that hearse old. Nova. Black on black on black. Oop. Pistol grip four speed. Oh yeah. No power steering, I don't think. Yeah. Nice looking paint. Camaro, Z4, four speed, power windows. Camaro. Moving out on the top end. Eleven.